when Christianity came into Europe, the old European gods were forced to go into hiding. None were better at hiding than the beloved Yostra, the benevolent goddess of rebirths. She hid inside Christian tradition and she gave one of her names, Easter, to Christianity's most important holiday. You can look right at Easter and not even see her. She hid in plain sight. Here's the story of Yostra. Every autumn, the dangerous winter giants came down from the north, bringing cold and darkness as their weapons. To keep the glorious goddess Yostra safe, the clever rabbits, experts at hiding and evading their enemies, hid the blessed and beautiful goddess in a cleft in the rocks on a mountainside. The giants searched through the winter months until the spring equinox called them back to their home in the north. Then, the efficacious white lady of many names, the goddess Yostra, powerful life-giving ruler of April, emerged from the mountainside. She is the radiant goddess of dawn, and all things hidden are illuminated by her brilliance. Your unconscious, repressed thoughts and emotions are brought into the light of consciousness when she reawakens all of nature with new birth. That's the story of Yostra. The lesson I learned from her is some things are supposed to stay in hiding, undiscovered, until the right moment for them to come out. That's why Easter is about rebirths, but it's also about things hidden.